today we will learn the chapter 8. The chapter 8 title is that chromosome variation. In chapter 8, we will learn four subjects. First one is we will learn the chromosome mutation, and also we will learn the second, we will learn the chromosome rearrangement. Third, we will learn the endoploidy, and finally, we will learn the polyfluidy. So usually in this slide, before we go further, I will show you some example of the polyploidy. So usually the banana has multiple set of chromosomes. So typical type of banana is they have the AA, they have 2N, 2N, the, the, the type is the berberine. But nowadays people make the, artificially make the another type is the M bone. So people made artificially, they made the AAA. So 3N is 27. So after they people make the artificially make the M bone, they found that the size is the bigger than the uh, AA type. And also they are very sweet. So usually the polyploidy is usually seen in the, the fruit. Okay. In this slide, we will see the first subject, chromosome mutation, include rearrangement and aneuploidy and polyploidy. So in this slide, I will show you the, the chromosome morphology. So chromosome morphology is determined by the position of a centromere on the chromosome. In chapter 2, we already learned that uh, this is the submetacentry. And the chromosome, this one is metacentric. If the chromosome centromere is located in the upper location, we call it as telocentric. And also this one, this, this shape, we call it as acrocentric. So usually the chromosome morphology is determined by the position of centromere on the chromosome. So in this slide, I will explain the karyotype. So karyotype is that the number and the visual appearance of the nuclear uh, cl chromosome in the nuclei. For example, we human, this is a human karyotype. Male has that 22 pairs of the autosome. After that, they have the sex chromosome, XY. Female has uh, 22 pairs of the autosome, and they, are, they have the sex chromosome, the XX sex chromosome. So to identify the karyotype, we usually prepare the chromosome from actively dividing cell. So after that, we hold it in the metaphase. So usually the, during, during the metaphase, chromosome is aligned in the metaphase plate. After that, the, during the anaphase, usually the microtuber bind to the, the sister chromatid at that they go to the other pole each other, but usually the core hitching, if we treat the core hitching, core hitching prevent cells from entering the anaphase because the core hitching is is bind to the, the alpha and beta microtubule subunit. So it prevents the, uh, the the making of the alpha beta dimer. So it cannot make the uh, it cannot. It can, it can prevent microtubule assembly. So that's why the, after we treated the core hitching, so cells is inverted in the metaphase, so they aligned in the metaphase plate. So after that, we usually the arrange the chromosome according to the size. For example, chromosome one. Usually, chromosome one is the is the biggest chromosome. And chromosome 22 is the shortest chromosome. So usually the, we arrange it according to size. So chromosome 1 is the big, bigger one, and chromosome 22 is the smaller one. So in this slide, we will learn the chromosome bending. Chromosome bending means that alternating right and dark region along the length of the chromosome. So this is chromosome 1. You will see that some region is the dark region, and some region is a very light region. And how about the chromosome Y? 
at the tip of the chromosome Y, you can see the dark, dark staining region, and the other region is very white, like this. So this chromosome bending usually produced after staining with a dye. For example, there is a G band, and Q band, and C band, R band. So this is the G band, and this is Q band, this is C band, and this is R band. So usually, the, in most of cases, people use the G band. So G band means that ginza staining. So they, uh, they stain the heterochromatin region. Heterochromatin region means that the gene is very condensed region. So in this region is the darkly stained. And the light region means that euchromatin region. Euchromatin means that genes is very in relaxed relaxed uh, situation. So in this region is usually stained with light. So in this region, for example, this light region, this region is euchromatin region, and this is a dark region. Uh, this region is heterochromatin region. And there are there are there is also other Q band and C band, and the R band. So usually the Q band is used to another staining dye, mustard dye, and also C band usually stain the centromere region, is like this, and the R band usually stain uh, cytosine and guan, uh, uh, guanine base pairs, but usually people use the G band. G band is based on Kimja staining. This slide, we will learn the type of chromosome mutation. So there are three types of chromosome mutation. First one is the rearrangement, and the second one is aneuploidy, and final one is polyploidy. The very famous example of rearrangement is duplication. For example, this is the 2n is 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 2n6 means that the haploploid uh, haploploid n is 3. For example, the, the, in the rearrangement is composed of duplication, deletion, inversion, and translocation. So this is one example of duplication. Actually, in this chromosome, the order of gene is the A, B, C, D, E. But one of the chromosome, the order of gene is the A, B, C, D, E, C, D, E. It means that C, D, E is duplicated. In this case, we call it as the chromosome rearrangement especially duplication. But still, 2n is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Another case is the aneuploidy. In Korean, we call it as isu besuche. The very famous example is trisomy. So usually the Down syndrome patient show that trisomy in chromosome 21. So usually we have the two, uh, one pairs of the 21, we have two, two chromosomes, but in the, uh, the Down syndrome patient show that uh, uh, 2n plus il. So for example, they have the 2n plus il. So they have the three chromosomes like this. So in this case, 2m plus il, total 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, is like this. So another example is the polyploidy. In Korean, we call it as besuche. So this is the one example. So this is the haploid, uh, um, and this is diploid, and this is triploid. So triploid is 3n, so 
in this case is 3 and is 9 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so this is recorded as the uh, polyploid especially in this cases is triploid 3n So in this slide, we will learn the second subject, chromosome rearrangement alter chromosome structure. First, we will learn the port type of the chromosomal rearrangement. There is the duplication and deletion, inversion and translocation can be happened. Okay, let's start from the duplication. So duplication means that the a segment of the chromosome is duplicated. So this is the original chromosome. The gene order is start from the A, B, C, D, E, F, G. In this case, is the, this E and F is duplicated. So the, the gene order will be the A, B, C, D, E, F, E, F, G. In this case, we call it as the duplication. Okay, next is the deletion. Deletion means that a segment of the chromosome is deleted. For example, the original chromosome was the A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So in this case, is E and F is the segment is deleted and at that, at, at that the, the chromosome the rearranged chromosome uh, will be the a b c d g is like this because e and f is deleted another case is, is inversion so inversion means that a segment of the chromosome is turned 180. For example, like this, the original the order is the A, B, C, D, E, F, G. But in the in the in this segment D, E, F, the segment of this chromosome is turned 100 cents degree. 180 degree, 80 degrees. So the final rearranged chromosome show that A, B, C, F, E, D, G is like this. So finally, we will learn the translocation. So this is the translocation. So in translocation, usually happen a segment of a chromosome moves from one chromosome to a non-homologous chromosome. But in this case, is the translocation. The chromosome 1, for example, this is chromosome 1 and this is chromosome 2. So they are non-homologous chromosome. Chrom chromosome 1, in chromosome 1, the gene order is A, B, C, D, E, F, C. How about in the other chromosome, the other non-homologous chromosome? The gene order is M, N, O, P, Q, R, S. So in this case, is the a segment of the this E and F segment is moves from one chromosome to a non-homologous chromosome. Except so that the 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 rearranged chromosome the gene order is A, B, C, D, Q, R, G is like this. The other non-homologous chromosome is the M, N, O, P, E, F, S is like this. So this is a recorded as the translocation. Once again, a segment of the one chromosome moves from one chromosome to a non-homologous chromosome. So that's why after all, 
the gene order is, is A, B, C, D, Q, R, G, and M, N, O, P, E, F, S is like this. And also, there is uh, another translocation means that uh, a segment of a chromosome moves from one chromosome to another place on the same chromosome. This, this is not shown. Okay, uh, so this is the, so in this slide we learned four types of chromosomal rearrangement, duplication, deletion, inversion, and translocation. So in this slide we will see some details in the duplication. So duplication means that we already learned that a segment of the chromosome is duplicated like this A, B, C, D, E, F, E, F, like this. Segment of the chromosome is duplicated. But in the propage one, meiosis one, propage one, what happened during the meiosis one, propage one? Usually the, they make the tetrad. Tetrad means that closely associated the porosis the chromatid of two, uh, two homologous chromosomes. So they make the tetrad. So we already learned this one in chapter two. And after that, usually the crossing over is happening. This is the propage one. So in during the propage one, the duplicated, the EF is duplicated. So usually the uh, two homologous chromosome is aligned together. During this time, is the duplicated region is looped out to allow the homologous sequence of the chromosome to align. A and A is aligned together, and B and B is aligned together, and C and C, D and D, E and E, F and F, and G and G. So usually the duplicate E and F region must loop out to allow the homologous sequence of the chromosome to align. So this is the, uh, the detailed information of the duplication. So in this slide, I will explain one example of the chromosome duplication. So due to the chromosome duplication, the bar phenotype is happens. So this is the, but the, this bar region is located in the X chromosome of Drospira. So this is Drospira's chromosome. So they have the, for example, the women has the XX and, uh, uh, and the, the male has the XY. So for example, the bar region is located in the X chromosome. So for example, so the, if there is the wild type uh, the bar region, so this is the fruit flies I. So I is the this is fruit flies I. I is composed of multiple facet. This is facet. Their unit. They have the multiple facet is like this. So this is a wild type female. They have a B plus B plus, and this is but duplication of the bar region in the X chromosome is inherited as incompletely dominant. So for example, if they have some duplication is here, so their genotype is B plus and B. So it functions as incompletely dominant. So they have some reduced number of facet in the eyes like this. So that's why the, the heterozygous for duplication of a bar region, they show the smaller eye. But when they have the, the homozygous for duplication of the bar region, they will have the greatly reduced eyes. So if they are completely dominant, the phenotype of the heterozygous bar female should be the they show that greatly reduced eye per because in the heterozygous they show the small eye, but in homozygous they show this greatly 
reduced I. So this is due to the, they are incomplete dominant. And also the bar region is located in X chromosome. The, they show that X linked trait. But another example of the chromosome duplication is the double, double bar mutation. For example, bar region is the duplicated and is also double, double duplicated. So in this case, the heterozygous uh, double bar females, so we, the genotype we, we call it as the B plus BD, double bar mutation, and their phenotype is extremely reduced I. So this is the effect of the chromosome duplication, especially in the bar region. So bar region is duplicated. When they have the heterozygous bar females, they show that reduced, they show the small eye, but when they are in the homozygous, it's like this, so they are complete or uh, not complete, with great reduced eyes like this. Because the, if they are is the completely dominant, the uh, dominance, maybe the heterozygous bar female show that greatly, greatly, uh, greatly reduced eye like the homozygous bar female, but they show that difference, there is, there is some difference between the heterozygous and homozygous. That's why we call it as incompletely dominant. Another example is the double bar mutation means that bar region is the, uh, uh, duplicated, but they have the triplicated. So triplicated, uh, triplicated. So in this case, is we call it as a BD. So in this case, they show that extremely reduced eyes like this. So this is the effect of the chromosome duplication. One example of the effect of the chromosome duplication. So in this slide, I will explain unequal crossing over. So usually the unequal crossing over produces duplication and deletion together, okay? So during meiosis one, especially in prophase one, so usually the crossing over is happens. The so crossing over we already learned that in chapter two induced exchange of genetic information. But so, so usually the crossing over happens. So in this case is usually the this is the one example of the equal crossing over. So one chromosome, they have the gene order is A1, B1, and C1. The other chromosome, the other homologous chromosome, the gene order is A2, B2, C2. So usually the chromosome is aligned properly and usually crossing over happens. Finally, they have the A1, B2, C2. Another chromosome, they have A2, B1, C1 is like this. But sometimes chromosomes do not align properly. So this is the, they are homologous chromosome. So chromosomes do not align properly, resulting in the unequal crossing over. So in this case is the one chromosome have the gene duplicate chromosome duplication. In this case is due to the unequal crossing over. One chromosome have two green obscene gene and the other chromosome only have the red obscene gene. So in this case is it can induce the chromosome duplication. So, it, so the other chromosome uh, have the chromosome deletion. It's like this. So unequal crossing over is main cause of chromosome duplication and deletion together. Okay. So in this slide, I will explain the one effect of the chromosome duplication. So for example, this is the, the developmental processes. Uh, during the developmental processes from the embryo to the fish, Sometimes 
uh, they require interaction of the many genes. For example, in one chromosome, this is a wild type chromosome, they have the A gene, gene A, and gene B, and gene C. Gene A make the A protein, and gene B make the B protein, and gene C make the C protein. So usually protein A, B, C is sometimes they interact each other. So the so when the interaction is the when 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 they have the optimal interaction is happens. So usually the embryo is the they show that the normal development. But sometimes duplication it happens. So duplication, chromosome duplication produces extra copies of gene. In this case, they make the A, gene A, gene B, gene BB, and gene C. They have additional extra copies of gene B. So in these cases, uh, they make the protein A, A protein, they have the two, two protein B, they have the protein C. But in these cases, they alter the relative amount of interacting product. So in these cases, so if the amount of the one product, it means that the B product is increased, or the amount of other products remain the same, for example, protein, uh, gene, protein A and protein C is the same. In this case, it sometimes abnormal development open result is like this. They showed some abnormal result is like this. So this is the uh, due to the chromosome duplication, sometimes unbalanced gene doses is happen. So, some, so it can induce abnormal development. Okay. This slide, I will explain the new concept, chromosome deletions. Previously, we learned the chromosome duplication. Chromosome duplication is, means that chromosomal segment is duplicated. And chromosome deletion means that chromosomal segment is lost. So usually the uh, chromosome deletion is easily detected in prophase 1. So in prophase 1, is they, we make the tetrad. Tetrad means that closely associate the prochromatids of two homologous chromosome. So after they make the tetrad, they, they induce the crossing over. So they did, uh, uh, they did the exchange of genetic information. But during these pages, usually the pairing is happens, but during pairings, so this is normal chromosome. The, the gene order is start from the A, B, C, D, E, F, C. But another homologous chromosome, the E and F is deleted. So in this case, another homologous chromosome, they have A, B, C, D, G. So in these cases, usually in doing propage one, they doing pairing, so they have to pair with each other. So A and A is pair each other, B and B is pair each other, C and C is pair each other, and D and D is pair each other and G and G is pair each other. So in this case, is normal chromosome loop out. So normal chromosome loop out for the homologous sequence of the chromosome to align. So in this case, is normal undeleted region is looped out, is like this. This is the appearance of the homologous chromosome uh, during pairing. So in this case, it is the normal chromosome loop out because in this region the uh, some uh, chromosome deletion is happens so normal looping out is happens like this so once again deletion means that loss of chromosomal segment so usually detected the chromosomal deletion easily detected in uh, prophase one 
because in prophase one is the tetrad is the making. Tetrad means that closely associated four sister chromatid or two homologous chromosome. In this case, the pairing is happens. So doing pairings, normal chromosome E and F is the loop out for the homologous sequence of the chromosome to align. C and D and G is aligned. So usually the, we can detect chromosome deletion during a uh, prophase one. It's like this. Try I will explain the effects of chromosomal deletion. Previously we learned the effects of chromosomal duplication. The first one was that bar phenotype Bar, bar region is duplicated, so this is the one, one example of the, the effect of the chromosomal duplication. Another example was the unbalanced gene doses, so usually the, it can induce abnormal development. How about it, the effect of chromosomal deletion? The chromosomal deletion is also induced imbalance in gene product and the, 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 the main phenotype is the pseudo dominance or haplo insufficiency due to the imbalance in gene product. So let's start from the pseudo dominance. Pseudo dominance means that expression of a normally recessive gene. For example, in this case is a plus is dominant than the small a. So, for example, in this region, uh, this chromosome, they have the small a, small a mutant. So this one is the A plus wild type, but this region is deleted. So, okay, A plus is dominant than small a. After the crosses, we have the a plus A, A plus A, it means that because A plus is dominant than small A, the phenotype will be the wild type. How about in this case, the other crosses, they have small A, but this region is deleted. The phenotype is the uh, mutant phenotype. So usually in this case, is the, because there is no A plus, it means that expression, so it can induce the expression of a normally recessive gene. Normally recessive small a is expressed. So this case is, we call it as the pseudodominance. Pseudodominance is usually occur due to chromosomal deletion. Another effect of the chromosomal deletion is haploinsufficiency. Haploinsufficiency is the condition that arises when the normal phenotype requires the, pro the protein product of the both alleles. For example, this is we have the homologous chromosome is like this. For example, if they are the wild type, so they will make the this amount one chromosome make the this amount of the mRNA from this gene. And also from, from this chromosome, they will also have the, another amount of the, this, this mRNA. But in the case of the deletions, only one chromosome can make the, the, the amount of the mRNA. So, but a condition that arises when the normal phenotypes require the protein product of both alleles. In this case, is the, so this is the wing deviation. This is wild type, normal type. So very smooth is like this. So in this case, is the the wing deviation. They show that V V phenotype is like this. So usually the this the wild type, normal smooth wing. They need both allele. But in the case of the only the one gene, is, this region is deleted. They only have, we only have the one 
or mRNA from the one chromosome. So in this case, the, it can induce a V, V, uh, V. So the ring deviation is the V, V phenotype. So this is the due to the heterolog insufficiency. Another example is the obese mice. So this is normal mice. Normal mice is very small, but obese mice is very big. So some gene is, in the case is some gene, some gene is, in, is very, very, plays important role is normal phenotype. Normal phenotype of the mice, but the, when the two, the gene is expressed in the two, from two chromosome, they have enough mRNA and their phenotype will be the normal. But in the case of the chromosomal deletion, the mRNA can be expressed only from only one chromosome. In these cases, they induced obese, obese, very big, big, big phenotypes like this. So the effect of chromosomal deletion is to induce the imbalance in gene product. So sometimes they can induce pseudo-dominance and also sometimes they can induce haploinsufficiency. Okay. In this slide, I will explain the table 8.1, the effects of some human chromosome rearrangement. So usually the in, in chromosome rearrangement, usually duplication is happen and deletion is always, uh, deletion is happen. For example, duplication is happen in chromosome four short arm and the other duplication is chromosome seven long arm and uh, another is the chromosome nine and short arm. Okay, let's start from one example, which one is duplication in chromosome four short arm. So this is chromosome 4, and chromosome 4 is composed of the short arm 4P and 4Q, long arm is 4Q. So in some cases, the 4P is duplicated. In these cases, it can, it induced abnormal development. So the phenotype of the 4P patients is they show the small head and short neck and also they showed reduced growth and intellectual disability. Okay, this is, but uh, they don't have any specific the gene, the disorder name, just, just we call it as poppy plus, poppy plus disorder. How about the deletion? Deletion is also sometimes happen chromosome 5, 4, 4, 7, 15, 18, 18. And the very famous example is the deletion in chromosome 4 in short term. So again, this is a 4P. And uh, this 4P region is deleted. So it can induce the uh, ULP Hiroshion uh, syndrome. In Korean, we call it as Ancheongi. Anchangi is due to the gene deletion, especially in chromosome 4 short arm. So the Anchangi show that phenotype is a small head and they also have some severe intellectual disability. So like this, this is Anchangi is like this, okay? So this is due to chromosome 4 short arm deletion. In this slide, we will learn another concept, chromosomal inversion. Chromosomal inversion means that a segment of chromosome is turned 180 degrees. So there are two cases. One is paracentric inversion. The other is pericentric inversion. First inversion means that paracentric inversion means that do not include the centromere in the inversion. For example, the chromosomal, the gene location in, in chromosome is the A, B, C, D, E, F, C. The segment of chromosome C, D, E is inverted. So in these cases, the gene order is A, B, E, D, C, F, G is like this. This is a paracentric inversion. How about the pericentric inversion? 
Pericentric inversion include the centromere in the inversion. For example, this is the chromosome. The in the chromosome, the gene order is the A, B, C, D, E, F, G. But in the inverted region, it includes centromere. So the, the final gene order is that A, B, E, centromere, D, C, F, G is like this. So usually the in the uh, during the para, uh, paracentric inversion is uh, uh, is usually detected in propase one. So propase one is usually the uh, chromosome is pair each other, and chromosome form an inversion loop is like this. Inversion loop like this. So in propase one of meiosis. Paracentric inversion usually detected, and the chromosome forms the inversion inversion loop, which allows the homologous sequence to align. The homologous sequence A is aligned, and B is aligned, and so, and the E and G is aligned, but for in these cases, the uh, the um, inversion loop is happened, so that's why the F is can be aligned, and D can be aligned, and C can be aligned. So, paracentric inversion do not include the centromere in the inversion, so it can be detected in propase one. So usually in these cases, chromosome form an inversion loop is like this. So, which allows the homologous sequence to align to each other. How about the pericentric inversion? It includes the centromere in the inversion. Uh, it includes the centromere in the inversion. So, in these cases, also the pericentric inversion is also can be detected in the propase one. So during the propase one, is a chromosome form an inversion loop like this, inversion loop like this. But the uh, but the centromere is, is located in the inversion loop. So for example, the A is can be aligned pairs each other, B is paired each other, F is E is paired each other. Uh, uh, F is paired to each other and G is paired to each other. So at that they make the inversion loop. So the E can be aligned to each other and T can be aligned to each other and C can be aligned to each other. So when they make the, the inversion loop in the paracentric inversion and the pericentric inversion, sometimes the crossing over is takes place. Okay. But the important thing is that uh, paracentric inversion, pericentric inversion, the, the, the in, during in the propase one, they, uh, the chromosome form an inversion loop is like this. Okay. So I, I will explain the, some detailed information in the paracentric inversion. Paracentric inversion do not include the centromere. And that's why the, this is the, the inversion is happened in this region. Though actual the, the initial chromosome in the, the actual chromosome, the gene order is A, B, C, D, E, F, G. But in the inversion, when the paracentric inversion happened, the gene order is A, B, E, D, C, F, G is like this. So usually in the paracentric inversion, usually chromosome forms an inversion loop, which allows the homologous sequence to align. So A, A, A is aligned to each other, B and B is aligned to each other, F, F aligned to each other, and G and G is aligned to each other, and E and E, and D and D 
and C and C is aligned to each other. So usually the in pro page one inversion loop forms is like this. So sometimes a single crossover happens. So between here and <coughs> here and there, so result in the unusual structure. For example, the first one can be the A, B, C, D, E, F, C. So A, B, C, D, E, F, C. The, the inner one, this one, there is no crossover, so it will become the A, B, E, D, C, F, C. A, B, E, D, C, F, Z. But inside here, there is crossover, it happens. So this one becomes A, B, C, D, E. At that, they, they go to the here like this. Another one, this one, the crossover is happens. So it becomes uh, C, D, E, F, G. So they will make the, this kind of loop like this. This one, <laughs> this one, they will make this loop like this. So one of the co one of the four chromatids now have two centimeters, and the other the other one is lacks a centimeter. One has two centimeters, the other lacks a centimeter. So usually the in anaphase one, so usually the microtubules bind to here. So usually the the centromere, uh, so the so the, the each each chromosome go to the each pole. But in this case is the uh, so in this case is the centromere is a separate. So it it means that stretching stretching. This is the uh, dicentric chromatid, dicentric chromatid. So it means that centromere during the in anaphase one, the centromere or uh, the centromere is separated each other. During the this is happens, it can stretch the dicentric chromatid. So which breaks here, uh, for example, which breaks here. So and also. The other chromosome, which lacks the centromere, will be finally will be lost. So in this case, after NFS2 is finished, two gamet, two gamet contains non-recombinant chromosome, so which is the A, B, C, D, E, F, G. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Another gamut is A, B, E, D, C, F, G. A, B, E, D, C, F, G. But the other two recombinant chromosome, this one is the, <coughs> so uh, during the separation, so it can stretch the dicentric chromatid and the breakage happens here. So this chromosome is lost. This chromosome only have A, B, C. They lost the gene D, E, F, G. How about this chromosome? This one is uh, they make the A, B, E, D, but they also lost the, the they also lost the C, F, G. So in these two Chromatic chromosome, the combinant chromosome, is non-viable because they are missing some gene. Maybe they, they, they are missing some gene. Maybe the, that gene is very important in the, the, their survival. So okay. So usually the in paracentric inversion. So during the propage one inversion loop is can be happens. So sometimes a single crossover happens, so they make the one make the 
dicentric chromatid, which has the two centromere. The other is the helix of centromere. So usually the NFP is one. Centromere is the, each centromere is go to the each pole. So at that time, it can stretch here, stretching the dicentric or uh, dicentric chromatid, and which breaks happens here. And also the other centromere lacking, uh, the other chromosome lacking or centromere is lost. So after NF phase two, two is two gamete contains a non recombinant chromosome, but the other two, two contains a recombinant chromosome. But some of them, they lost important reason. So these two gamete will be non-viable because they are missing some important gene. This slide, I will explain the, some detailed information of pericentric inversion. Pericentric inversion include the centromere. For example, in this case, is the chromosome, in, in this chromosome, the gene order is gene A, gene B, C, D, centromere, E, F, C. But when the pericentric inversion happens, the gene location is the A, B, E, centromere, D, C, F, C. So usually the during prophase one, the inversion loop is the forms because which allows the homologous sequence to align. So A and A is aligned to each other, B is aligned to each other, F is aligned to each other, uh, uh, G is aligned to each other, E, D, C is aligned to each other. So usually the in this inversion loop crossing over is happens like this. So because crossing over happens, for, get, for example, but there is no crossing over the outside this one. So how about this one? So the outside one will be the A, B, C, D, E, F, Z. How about the, this one? There is no crossover here. So it means that A, B, E, D, C, F, C, A, B, E, D, C, F, C. But there is a crossing over between this chromatid and this chromatid. This is the, the resulting chromatid is like this. Okay? Okay. So, for example, so in this case is the, uh, the resulting chromatids to have the, for example, this one, these two, the outside is the, is, is the non-recombinant, but inside is a recombinant, but this inside becomes, this one becomes the, like this, uh, another, <coughs> this one is the G, F, E, D, C, F, G. It means that they have too many copies. They have two copies of the F and G, but they don't have the A and B copies. So two of them, research chromatid, have too many copies of some gene and no copies of no copies of others. How about this one? This one, this one becomes the this one becomes the A B. E, D, C, B, A. So this one becomes the two copies of the A and two copies of the B, but they don't have the F and G. So that's why the two gamete contains is non-recombinant chromosome, but but the 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 other two contains the uh, recombinant chromosome, but they are non-viable because, because the genes are either missing 
or present in too many copies. In this case, is the gene A and B is the, uh, in this case, is gene A and B is missing, and and the F and G is too many copies. So in this case, is uh, A and B is many copies, but they don't have uh, F and G. So this gamete is non-viable because the, they are either missing or present in too many copies. So this is the pericentric inversion. In this slide, I will explain one example of pericentric inversion. So actually, the, the human between human and chimpanzee, chromosome 4 is nearly similar to each other, only except for this region. So this region, so this region, the inversion is happen. They include the centromere. So pericentric inversion is happens. So this is chromosome human chromosome four. They have centromeres here, so they have some gene is here. But pericentric inversion is happen. So this is chimpanzee chromosome four. They are nearly similar to each other except for the the location except for the, the pericentric inversion. Okay. So the concept check one. So dicentric chromosome, this is dicentric chromosome is produced when crossing over takes place in an individual heterozygous for which type of the chromosome rearrangement? Duplication, deletion, paracentric inversion or pericentric inversion. So this is the normal chromosome, which has one centromere. So this is the dicentric chromosome, which has two centromeres. So dicentric chromosome is produced when, so we learned that paracentric inversion is happens. So it can make the dicentric chromatid. One has two centromere, the other has the, they don't have the centromere. So dicentric chromosome is produced when paracentric inversion is happens. So the, the, the answer is C. This slide I will explain the chromosomal translocation. In chromosomal translocation, there is a three cases that happens. One is non-reciprocal translocation. Another one is the reciprocal translocation. Final one is the uh, Robertsonian translocation. So non-reciprocal translocation is the happens uh, genetic material from one chromosome to another without any reciprocal changes. For example, in these cases, this A and B, this region is translocated into here. So it can make the C, D, F, E, F, C. Another one is the A, B, H, I, J, K, L, M. So this means that without any reciprocal exchanges, it means that this is the uh, non-reciprocal non -reci non translocation. How about the reciprocal translocation? So reciprocal translocation means that two chromosomes are exchanges broken segments. For example, this is before translocation and this is the after translocation. So two chromosome exchanges, two chromosome, two chromosome exchanges the broken segment. So they combine each other. This one, this one is like this. So it means that genetic material moves from one chromosome to another with a reciprocal exchanging. So this is the reciprocal translocation. Another, another one is uh, usually have, uh, we call it as a Robertsonian translocation. It usually happens in the acrocentric chromosome. So acrocentric chromosome is looks like this. They have a short, short short arm, and they also have long arms like this. And centromere is located here. So 
usually the short arm of one cent one acrocentric chromosome is exchanged with the long arm of another. For example, short arm of one acrocentric chromosome is exchanged with the long arm of another. So this is the Robertsonian translocation. After that, it can make the metacentric chromosome is very big chromosome, creating a large metacentric chromosome. And usually the, the other one, the other fragment is the very small is like this. So in this very small fragment, usually the, the fail to segregate and finally will be the lost. Once again, the Robertsonian translocation in short arm of one acrocentric chromosome is exchanged, this short arm is exchanged with the long arm of another. This is recorded as Robertsonian translocation. After Robertsonian translocation, it can make the metacentric chromosome. It's a very big chromosome. But the other one is that they, they made the fragment. This fragment is fa usually the fail to segregate and is the, usually the lost. Slide, I will explain the translocation in meiosis. So this is the individual heterozygous for translocation. So one has the one chromosome has the normal chromosome, it's N1. The other chromosome is the also has normal chromosome N2, but they have the translocate the chromosome, the T1 and T2. So N1 chromosome, they have the A, the gene order is A, B, C, D, E, F, C. So another normal chromosome, the gene order is M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T. How about the translocate chromosome? T1 is the A, B, C, D, Q, R, S, T. How about the T2? T2 is M, N, O, P, E, F, C. So reciprocal uh, translocation is happens. So it can make the normal chromosome, another can make the translocated chromosome, T1 and T2. But because each chromosome has the section that are homologous to two other chromosome, because each chromosome has a section that are homologous to two other chromosomes. For example, N1 has the, the homologous section here and here. How about the, mm, the N2? N2 has the, the homologous region here and here. How about T1? T1 has homologous region here and here. How about T2? T2 is homologous region here and there, here. So that's why, the, because each chromosome has a section that are homologous to two other chromosomes, so usually in propage one, usually in propage one, tetrad is, make, is made. But in this case, is cross-like configuration is forms. So in the NLPase propase 1 of the meiosis, in this case is the, instead of the tetrad, so they make the cross-like configuration. So during the, after that, in the NLPase 1, the chromosome is separate in one of the three different ways. In this slide, we will see the following procedure. So, as I mentioned earlier, in NFH1, chromosomes separate in one of three different ways. So, for example, one method is the alternate, alternate segregation. So in this case, so N1, N2 go to the, the other pole, and the T1, T2 go to the, the other poles. 
So in this case, it is apt uh, and a page two. They will have this kind of gamut. For example, they have the one has the n1, n2. The other one has the n1, n2 from this one. One and also the other one is has t1, t2, and the other one, the other gamut is t1, t2. And okay, let's start from the gene. N1 has A, B, C, D, E, F, G. N2 has the M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T. So they have a full set of the gene. How about T1 and T2? T1 and T2 has the A, B, C, D, E, F, G. M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T. So because the apt they finish alternate segregation so n1 and n2 go to the one pole and the t1 and t2 go to the, the other pole in this case is gamut resulting from alternate segregation are viable because each gamut has full set of gene but how about adjacent one adjacent to segregation. For example, adjacent one segregation is the happens like this. So N1 and T2 go to the one pole and T1, T2 go to the, the other pole. And adjacent to segregation is happen is like this. So N1 and T1 go to the one pole and T2 and N2 is go to the, the other the other cases. But adjacent to segregation they nearly not happens. It's very rare cases. But anyway, the gamut resulting from adjacent one and adjacent two segregation are non-viable. For example, because the sum of gene are present in two copies, whereas others are missing. For example, in these cases, for example, in this pole, they have N1 and T2. So they, in this pole, they made the gamut and N1, N2, and N1, T2 is like this. However, in this, in, in this pole, they make the gamut like T1 and N2, and T1 and N2. For, for example, each gamut has, for example, this one has A, B, C, D, E, F, G. But they have the E, F, C, the duplicate E, F, C, but they don't have the uh, Q, R, S, T. So, for example, this one cannot survive, cannot viable. How about this one? This one is also the same. So, they have the they only have the A, B, C, D. They don't have E, F, G. So in these cases, they, they cannot survive. So they cannot, uh, they are not viable. How about in these cases? In this one, go to the one pole, and this one, go to the other poles. So this is the N1, T1, N1, T1. They, they, they will make the gamut like this. Another gamut, they will make T2, N2, T2, N2. For example, in this gamut, they have A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So A, B, C, D is duplicated, but they don't have the M, N, O, P, so they cannot survive. How about these cases? They don't have the A, B, C, D, but they only have E, F, G, so they cannot survive. So let's, uh, let's summarize. So translocation in meiosis in usually in propase one cross-like configuration is formed like this. Because each chromosome has a section that are homologous to two other chromosomes. So at that, uh, uh, three kind of the uh, three different kinds of segregation can happen. First one is alternate segregation. So gamut resulting from alternate segregation are viable. However, the gamut resulting from adjacent one and adjacent two are non-viable because some of the genes are present in two copies, 
whereas the others are missing. In this slide, we will solve the concept check two. The question is, what is the outcome of the Robertsonian translocation? So what is the Robertsonian translocation? So Robertsonian translocation is, means that the short arm of the one acrocentric chromosome is exchanged with the long arm of the, the other. So short arm of one acrocentric chromosome is exchanged with the long arm of the another. So this is the Robertsonian translocation. At that one metacentric chromosome is show up and the other is pregnant. So the answer is the one metacentric chromosome and the one chromosome with the two with the two very short arms. So usually the this very short arm, it, this, this chromosome usually the, it finally will be the lost. Okay, so the, the answer is B. This slide we will learn the new cell subject, the anioploidy. So anioploidy is an increase or a decrease in the number of individual chromosomes. So there is the variation in copy, chromosome copy number is usually occur in the anioploidy and the polyploidy. So anioploidy, we will learn it right now, and the polyploidy, we will learn it later, today's lecture. There are three causes of the anioploidy. First cause is a known disjunction during meiosis one and meiosis two and the mitosis. So this is the uh, usually the in the meiosis one, usually two homologous chromosome is aligned in the metaphase plate. So each chromosome go to the, the other pole and the other pole, and but in these cases, non disjunction happen. So these two homologous chromosome we go to the only one cell. So apt meiosis 2, so this is the gamete, and at that it will be fertilized, and at that this is the uh, zygote, so one zygote, they will be trisomy, they have the 2n plus 1, so they have, two, uh, they have, they have 2n, but they have the plus 1, so it means that this is trisomy. In these cases, the cell which did not receive the, this chromosome, this, this homologous chromosome, so it, it will be fertilized the, uh, the, uh, the genotype will be the 2N minus 1. We call it as the monosomic. And also the non-disjunction is also happen in the meiosis too. Okay, so during the meiosis, after meiosis one is uh, finished, uh, each homologous chromosome go to the each cells like this. Okay, after that, uh, the, so during meiosis two, so also non disjunction can be happens. So each sister chromatid have to go to the each cell but sometimes non-disjunction happen. So the, each sister chromatid go to the one cell. So after fertilization, the, this cell become the trisomy and this cell become the monosomy and these two cell become the normal diploid, it's like this. Okay, and also aneuploidies also happen during mitosis. So uh, during mitosis, it's also non-disjunction happens. So actually, the, each cell has the one red chromosome and one blue chromosome. But sometimes the non-disjunction happen. So this cell only received the only one, one, one red chromosome, but the other cell received the one red chromosome and additional two blue chromosome. So finally, <coughs> this cell will become the 
a somatic clone of the trisomic cells 2m plus 1 and this cell will become the uh, monosomic somatic somatic clone of monosomic cells 2n minus 1 and also another cause of the aneuploidy is the sometimes the deletion the centromere region is, is deleted during the mitosis and meiosis so what's the role of the centromere region so in the centromere region the, there is the kinet core is located so usually the spindle microtubule attaches to the here and they can be the, each just chromatid can go, can go to the, the each pore but in this case is the chromosome is deleted so the spindle microtubule cannot attach it to the here so it means that there will be no separation of the sister chromatid so so one cell will receive all of the this these two chromosome and the other cell will lose will not receive the the, the for example y chromosome so this cell will be the aneuploidy cells okay and also another case is the Robotsonian translocation. For example, Robotsonian translocation is a short arm of one acrocentric chromosome is exchanging with the, the long arm of another. So finally, they will make the metacentric chromosome. For example, if there is a gene A is located here, they will have another gene A is here. B is located here, they will have another B. So in this case, is the effect will be nearly similar to the aneuploidy. That's why the Robotsonian translocation is also another cause of the aneuploidy. In this slide, I will explain the type of the aneuploidy. So there is a four type of the aneuploidy. Okay, let's start from the normal chromosome complement. So this is diploid. Uh, this, uh, this organism has four chromosomes. Chromosome 1, 2, 3, 4. So 2n is the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 2n is 8. So how about the nullizomy? How about the, let's start from the nullizomy. Nullizomy means that the loss of the homologous pairs of a chromosome. So in this case is the chromosome four, a homologous pairs of a chromosome four is lost. In this case, we call it as the nullizomy. So in this case, the 2n minus 2 means that actually it was 8, 8 minus 2 is 6. How about the trisomy? Trisomy means that gain of a single chromosome. So it means that 2n plus 1. So initially, the, actually, the chromosome 4 is usually the number is 1, 2. But in chromosome, in chromosome 4, there was a gain of a single chromosome 4. So in this case, it's 2n plus 1. So actually, the 2n was 8 plus 1 is so uh, 2n plus 1 is the total will be the 9. How about the monosomy? So monosomy means that loss of a single chromosome. For example, in these cases, chromosome, chromosome 4 has the one pair. Uh, so chromosome 1 is homologous chromosome. Chromosome 4 has the, uh, two homologous chromosome, but one of them is lost. So this is the monosomy. It's the loss of a single chromosome, 2n minus 1. So initially the 2n was 8, 8 minus 1 is 7. How about the tetrasomy? Tetrasomy means that gain of two homologous chromosome. So gain of the two homologous chromosome. In this case, C is that uh, tetrasomy so they receive the additional two homologous chromosome 4. 
So it means that they have the whole chromosome. So in this case is 2n plus 2. So total number is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 2n plus 2 is 10. Okay. Okay. So this is concept check 3. A diploid organism has 2n is 36 chromosomes. How many chromosomes will be found in the trisomic member of this species? Trisomic means that 2n plus 1. So it means that uh, how many chromosomes? 36 plus 1 will be the 37. Okay. In this slide, we will see the effect of the aneuploidy in plants. For example, the very famous example is Jimson, Jimson weed. So this is the, their wild type, the capsule. Inside the capsule, there, are, there is a seed. So this is the wild type capsule. But each type of the capsule is a phenotype that is trisomic for a different chromosome. So for example, in the Lord, Lord cases, this is also 2n plus 1, but in this case, is chromosome 1 is trisomy. How about glossy? Glossy is chromosome 2 is trisomy. How about buckling? Buckling is chromosome 3 is trisomy. How about elex? Elex is chromosome 12 is trisomy. So once again, to each type of capsule is a phenotype that is a trisomic or different chromosome. So this is the effect of aneuploidy in plants. This slide I will explain the effect of the aneuploidy in human. So usually the aneuploidy in human is happen in the autosome, not sex chromosome. The very famous example is happen in trisomy in chromosome 21. So this is the uh, this is induced the Down syndrome. Okay. In Down syndrome, there is two types. One is a primary Down syndrome, and next slide we will learn another Down syndrome, familiar, familiar Down syndrome. Okay, so usually the primary Down syndrome is usually happen. Uh, this is the Down syndrome patient. The so Down syndrome patient have the chromosome 21 is the 2n plus 1. They have three, it's so like this. So usually the primary Down syndrome is occurs due to the non-disjunction during meiosis 1 and meiosis 2. So non-disjunction can be happen in the meiosis 1. So finally it can induce trisomy. Another case is the also non-disjunction can be happen in the meiosis 2 and it also can induce trisomies like this. So I will show you the another example of the Down syndrome. So there is the familiar Down syndrome in Korean, we call it as a Gajokseong Down syndrome. So this is due to the Robertsonian translocation between chromosome 14 and 21. So usually chromosome 14 and the 21 is the acrocentric chromosome. They have a short arm, and also they have a long arm. Chromosome 14 is also they have a short arm, they have a long arm. So the parent who is carrier for 14 and 21 translocation has or the, the parent who has the Robertsonian translocation between chromosome 14 and 21, usually the parent has the normal phenotype. It's like this. So but <coughs> So during this is a parent generation. So during uh, gametogenesis, they will make the gamet. Actually, this is normal cases. So they will make the chromosome 21 and 14 is like this. They only have one chromatid each other, one, one 21 chromatid and one 14 chromatid. But in these cases, the, during uh, gametogenesis, so A cases can be happen and B cases can be happen. 
and see cases can be happen. Okay, let's start from the case B. So when the <coughs> one chromosome or uh, one one gamete, they have the chromosome 14 and 21 in addition to the 21 in these cases. How about the other gamete? They will only have the chromosome 14 so like this. So after fertilization, in these cases, they will have the uh, they will, this is the zygote. So they so if a normal person mate with a translocation carrier, so this is the zygote. So normal person have the chromosome uh, chromosome 21 and chromosome 14. After fertilization, so in these cases, the okay, this is a chromosome 21, and this is chromosome 21, and this is chromosome 21. So in these cases, they have a trisomy 21. So they will show you, they will show the Down syndrome. So this is the familiar Down syndrome. So this is due to the Robertsonian translocation between chromosome 14 and 21. <clears throat> so the other case is, is that this is the monosomy 21. The 21 is the chromosome 21 is only only they have they only have one. So in this case is the aborted. How about the, this one? So this one is the in these cases. They will make the trisomy 14, chromosome 14, chromosome 14, chromosome 14. In these cases, it will be also aborted. The other case is also monosomy in the chromosome 14, and this case is also will be aborted. The important thing is that familiar Down syndrome is, in these cases, Robertsonian, Robertsonian translocation between chromosome 14 and 21 can make the Down syndrome. This is the, because the chromosome 21, chromosome 21, chromosome 21. So this is trisomy, of, uh, trisomy 21. It can induce the Down syndrome. In this line, I will explain the, another type of the aneuploidy in human. So this is also autosomal aneuploidy. It happens in the autosome, not sex chromosome. The very famous one is trisomy is 18. The chromosome 18 is the uh, uh, one additional chromosome 18 is added. So this is the, it, it, it calls the Edward syndrome. So this is the Edward syndrome patient. Usually the 80% is the female. So majority is die before birth. And their symptom is very small head and also uh, mild formed ear. So ear is not formed very well. So this is the Edward syndrome. Additional, another one is trisomy 13. We call it as a partial syndrome. So they have the serious eye and brain circuitry defect as well as a, a cleft palate. Cleft palate is unchungi. On chung is like this. And also there is the another trisomy eight is recorded as a mosaicism. So they have this kind of the abnormality. And so all of them is due to the autosomal aneuploidy. 18, 13, chromosome 8. So this is in this slide I will explain the aneuploidy and the maternal age. And the instance of the primary Down syndrome and the other aneuploidies increase with the maternal age. If the maternal age is 20, is the, this the aneuploidies happened one out of 200. But if the maternal age is increased around 50, it means that one out of 12 is the they have the they have the uh, they have more the, uh, the uh, more likely to give birth to a children with Down syndrome, and so aneuploidy to prevent the aneuploidy, you have to give birth at early, at early at early ages around the 20 or before before 30s so like this.
In this slide, I'll be explained one, conce one concept, uniparental disomy. So it means that both chromosomes are inherited from the same parent. For example, in this case, is, we call it as uniparental disomy. So actually, the uniparental disomy is, comes from, the originated from trisomies, like this. Okay, so in this case is, okay, let's start from here. So this is a 2N, this is a meiosis one. After that, we will make the N and N. After it finished meiosis one, it will make the uh, N and N, it's like this. So during the meiosis two, non-disjunction is happens. So it will make it like this two, two sister chromatid. So in this case, there is no chromosome is like this. But this one and this one is the fertilized and they will make the trisomies like this. Okay? But in these cases, uniparental disomy violates the rule that children affected with a, a children affected with a recessive disorder appears only in families where both parents are carrier. So this is the recessive disorder. So in this case is the father is a, father is also carrier and mother is a carrier. So in this case is the, the children can have the uh, mutation from father, mutation from mother. In this case is the uh, the children affected with a recessive disorder appears only in family of where the both parents are carrier. But in these cases, uniparental disomies, one chromosome has, they have the mutation. For example, in the one chromosome, they have a mutation. The other chromosome, they don't have the mutation. So this is carrier. So mutation is the one chromosome, this, this is still has the, the mutation here. But when the non-disjunction happened, so it will make the sister, two sister chromatid is, is comes in the same cells. So they have the mutation and mutation. So in this case is the, it, so in this case is the, the, the patient can have the, the children, uh, children can be affected with recessive disorder. But this is only, uh, appears only in families where the mother is a carrier. So this is the uniparental disomy. Important thing is they violate the rule that children affected with a recessive disorder appears only in family where both both parents are carrier. So uniparental disomy it violates these rules. In this slide, we will learn the non-disjunction in mitotic divisions. If the non-disjunction non in mitotic division is happen, it can induce the chromosomal uh, mosaicism. Chromosomal mosaicism means that generate a patch of cell in which every cell has chromosomal abnormality. So in this case, is this color, pink, pink color, pink cell has that, uh, they lost the uh, X chromosome. But they also they are generate the other patches in which every cell has a normal carrier type. For example, this purple cell has the normal carrier type. So this is due to non-disjunction in the mitosis. Usually the mitosis, all of chromosome is aligned in the metaphase plate. But this is metaphase, but during the anaphase, the, so, so usually the sister chromatid go to the, the other pores, but in this case, is the, uh, each sister chromatid is go to the one pores. 
So this is the non-disjunction in the mitosis. So in this case, is the, this one is a, this chromosome has two sister chromatids, but these two sister chromatids go to the, in one cell. So in this case, it can induce 2n plus 1, and the other one, they can make 2n minus 1, is like this. So, so non-disjunction in mitotic division is, is induced a condition known as the chromosomal mosaicism. The very famous example is the mosaic Turner syndrome. So some, some patches of cell show that they show that they, they, they missed the one chromosome, but the other cell has they have normal chromosomes like this. So if known disjunction is happen during the meiosis, it, it, it really induced the Turner syndrome. So they have the X or they, they will they all of cell have only X chromosome. Uh, all of cell they have 22 pairs of chromosome, but they in sex chromosome they will only have the X. So all of cell if the non disjunction during the meiosis happens, they will show the Turner syndrome. But if the non disjunction in mitotic division is happens they will really induce mosaic Turner syndrome. So some of them, they will show that uh, a Turner syndrome, Turner syndrome phenotype, but some of the cell, yeah, they show the normal phenotype, it's like this. In this slide, I will explain the, uh, the final subject, polyploidy. So polyploidy means that the presence of the more than two sets of the chromosome. So this is the polyploidy. So autopolyploidy means that presence of more than two sets of chromosome, especially in autosome, not sex chromosome. Okay. So this is usually happen from single spaces. So autopolyploid can arise through non disjunction in mitosis or meiosis. So this is the uh, 2n cell. So 2n is 1, 2, 3, 4. So uh, during the, the interface, the DNA is replicated still. 2n is 4. So usually the, during metaphase, so each chromosome is aligned in the metaphase plate. After that, uh, usually the, uh, after that, the, the, in, during anaphase, each sister chromatid go to each pole. But there was no cell division. So in this case, if, if there was no cell division it happens, it can induce autotetraploid. Four N is the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four N is eight. Actually, 2N was poor, but if, the, the, if there was no cell division, it can make the auto tetraploid. 4N is 8. And also, auto polyploid is also can arise through the non disjunction during the meiosis. For example, in this case, is the uh, non disjunction happens during meiosis 1. So in this case, is non-disjunction happen during meiosis one. Okay, so after that, uh, so after that, uh, it will still make the after they finish two N, uh, meiosis two, they will still make the two n. So in this case, two n was poor, but their gamet was two n was poor. So after fertilization. After fertilization, so they will make the tetra, uh, triploid, the three ends, one, two, three, one, two, three. Three N is six. So usually the autopolyploid can ride through non disjunction in mitosis, especially in mitosis. If there is no cell divisions, it can make the autotetraploid. And also, 
if the during the meiosis, if the, there was no no uh, uh, non non disjunction di disjunction during meiosis one or during meiosis two, the final ideal gamete will be the two end, not end. So after fertilization, they will make the uh, three ploid, or we call it as a auto. If the it, if it happen in autosome, we call it as the the auto three ploid three n is like this. In this slide, I will explain the meiosis in an auto three ploid. So auto three ploid means that they have three n so like this. Okay, usually the in the during meiosis. The metaphase one, so usually the two homologous chromosomes aligns uh, in the, the metaphase plate. So each homo so this is the one or uh, two homologous chromosome, and this is the another two homologous chromosome. So during anaphase one, each chromosome get go to the each pores like this. But in the in, in the case of the triploid, during anaphase one, uh, uh, during the metaphase one, three, homo three homologous chromosome is aligned in the metaphase plate. At that, among the three homologous chromosome, two is pairs each other. At that, these two pairs go to the same pole. And the other chromosome go to the, the other pores like this. So after they finish the anaphase two, they will make the gamete. This one, this case will be the two n, and this case will be the one n is like this. So this is the one case is pairing of two or three homologous chromosome. The other case is the so. During the uh, during the uh, metaphase one, so all three homologous chromosome is uh, so, uh, all three chromosome pairs and uh, segregate is randomly. So segregate randomly. In this case, it is uh, uh, well, this one can go to this four and the other can go to this four. But some cases, this this one can go to this pole, and this one can go to this pole is like this. So this is the another case is pairing of all three homologous chromosome, and at that segregate randomly. Okay. Another so that's why at that they will make the one end and two end. Final case is there is no pairing. No pairing means that. None of the chromosome pairs and all three go to the same cell. So in this case, they make the three end, but the other case is there is no chromosome, chromosome absence. So <clears throat> usually the meiosis in the auto triploid in the three cases can be happens. In this slide, I will explain the allopolyploidy. Allopolyploidy is also the presence of more than two sets of chromosomes. But what's the difference between the autopolyploidy? Okay, let's go back to uh, let's go back to the previous slide. Okay, so this is the autopolyploid. Autopolyploid is also presence of the more than two set of chromosome. So usually the the autopolyploidy is uh, from single spaces. But how about in the allopolyploid? Allopolyploid is comes from, from two spaces. So most allopolyploids arise from hybridization between two spaces followed by chromosome doubling. So <coughs> for example, the space is one their chromosome is they composed of A A B B C C. So two N is six. In this the parent generation, they, they will make the gamete. The gamete is A 
B, C. In spaces 2, uh, they have the another chromosome, G, G, H, H, I, I, and 2, N is 6. So from spaces 2, they will make the, the gamut G, which has the chromosome G, H, I. So in the same spaces, we call it as the fertilization, but in the uh, in different spaces, we call it as a fuse or hybridization between two type uh, between two diploid spaces produces the hybrid. They will make the hybrid like this. They have the ABC and they have the GHI. So because this is the diploid, so the so we write down 2n is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this is the hybrid 2n is 6 because the, this is comes from diploid, uh, hep, haploploid, haploploid. So the, even after hybrid, they will become the diploid. So 2n is 6. So in these cases, non-disjunction at early mitotic cell division. So non-disjunction is happen during mitosis. So it will make the polyploid. So in these cases, they make the AA, BB, CC, GG, HH, II. So finally, their chromosome number is 12. So the genotype is 4N is 12. So in Korean, we call it as Ijil Sabeche. In English, they call it as Allo Tetraploid. In another words, in Korean, we call it as Bok Ibeche. In, in another words, in English, MP diploid. This is 4N is 12. So, <clears throat> so usually the allopolyploid is usually the most allopolyploid arise from hybridization between two spaces followed by chromosome doubling by non disjunction at early mitotic cell division. So from these spaces, uh, during the gamet, uh, gametogenesis, it will make the A, B, C, G, H, I, A, B, C, G, H, I. The important thing is allopolyploid is the also presence of more than two set of chromosome. So usually the, this is the due to from two spaces. So most allopolyploids arise from hybridization between two spaces. After that, non-disjunction at early mitotic cell divisions, it means that chromosome doubling is happens. So it can induce allotetraploid. 4N is 12, it's like this. In, in other words, we call it as a ibeche or MP diploid. This is the allopolyploidy. In this slide, I will explain the significance of the polyploidy. So in the first slide, we learned about some example of the polyploidy. The example was the, the banana. For example, these spaces, the M-bone spaces, the, the genotype is AAA3 and so this M-bone is the larger than Berlin and also they have good taster. So usually the polyploidy in the plant, it can increase the cell size and also it can induce larger plant attribute. So it means that increase the cell size and the length is or all of them is, is increased. Finally, it will give rise to new spaces banana which has 3N, the, there's these spaces have the very sweet, it's like this. So this is the significance of a polyploidy. This is the another 
example of the modern bread wheat. So this is the modern bread wheat, uh, uh, Christium, uh, ISTBM, ISTBM. Okay. So this is the hexaploid with the genes derived from three different species. For example, post they will make, they have the, this is the one species, the other is the, another species. After hybridization, they will make the hybrid, so genome A and B. So this is the, at that they did the mitotic non-disjunction, so they will make the new species. New species is 4N, is, so initially this one is a 2N, is 14, and this one is a 2N, is 14, and this one is a 4N, is 28. And also they did hybridization with the wild glass, another species. After that, they will make the 3N21, 3N is 21, another hybrid. After that, they did mitotic non-disjunction. So finally, they make the 6N is 42. This is a new species. They give rise to new species. So the size of the cell size is the bigger, and everything is bigger than previous three species. Okay? So this is the example of a polyploid crops plants. The potato is the auto polyploid. It comes from the same species. So the chromosome set is 4N. Banana is also auto polyploid. Comes from the same species. The chromosome set is 3N. But another one is the wheat. We already learned that wheat is the allo polyploid means that comes from more than two spaces. The chromosome set is 6N, is like this. So this is the, we, we summarized different type of chromosome mutation. So we learned that chromosome rearrangement, so in chromosome rearrangement, we learned duplication and deletion. And also we learned inversion, Inversion, we divided by paracentric and the pericentric. We also learned the translocation. In translocation, there is non-reciprocal and there is also reciprocal translocation. And there is also another uh, translocation, a uh, robot, uh, robotsonian translocation. And also we learned the enioploidy. In enioploidy, we learned the null and the rhizomy and the monosomy and trisomy and tetrasomy. In the polyploid, we learn the auto polyploid comes from the same species and the allo polyploid comes from the different species. This is concept check five. So the question was uh, species A has 2N is a 16 chromosome and species B has 2N is 14. How many chromosomes would be found in an allo triploid of these two spaces? Okay. Okay, in this case is allo triploid. Okay. First is the species from species A, the N will be the A. Another species B, N will be seven. After hybridization, so we will make the AB. AB is a two N is 15. So because this is the allo triploid means that another hybridization between this one and this one. So after hybridization between this one and this one, so they will make the 3n, 7 plus 15 is 12 too. So after hybridization this one and this one, so they make the ABA, the 3N is A plus 15 is 23. So this is the allo triploid and the chromosome number is 22 or 23. So num the answer is the, the C. So in the chapter 8, we learned chromosome variations. 
So we learned the chromosome mutation, especially chromosome rearrangement, and the annual fluidity and the polyploidy. So today I will finish the class.